listening to Florida Songwriters Association Podcast. Podcast. Your main source for music industry news, networking, and business education. Welcome to Florida Songwriters Association Podcast. I'm your host, Steve Lane, and my guest today is Mr. Shane Whelan. Shane Whelan is Director and Marketing at International Songwriters Competition. Shane, tell us a little bit about yourself. First of all, Steve, thank you for having me on. It's a pleasure. I've been the Director of Marketing for ISC for the past almost seven years. I'm actually a former entrant in the competition. I entered the International Songwriting Competition back in 2009 and went on to become a semi-finalist. And then in my move to Nashville a number of years ago, I was looking for an opportunity to sort of combine my passion for music and then couple that with some of my, you know, just overall business experience. And so I had the opportunity to join the team here and I really enjoyed it. I believe in what we do and I believe that, you know, in this day and age, especially with everything the way it is right now, that artists out there should take advantage of every opportunity available to them. And I think that ISC, especially for songwriters, is one of those doors that you should continue to knock on to get the recognition that you deserve. Absolutely. So when I uh, initially spoke to you maybe a month or two months ago, when we first got in contact with each other, you introduced the songwriters competition to me and I was really amazed on what you guys were doing and, and the prizes you're giving out. So tell us more about the, uh, tell us more about ICS and how long you guys have been around. Yeah, so ISC was formed over 19 years ago, and ultimately our mission is to create a platform for songwriters to be heard. And whether you're an amateur or an established professional songwriter, whether you live in the United States or you're from Samoa, you know, the opportunity is available to anyone at any age. We even have a category specific to teens who are 18 years or younger. And our mission is to build a platform to help you get heard by people that can actually make a difference in your music career. So our judge panel consists of celebrity artists, which this year includes Coldplay, Dua Lipa, Tom Waits, Phoebe Rexa, Linkin Park, Tanya Tucker, and so on. But we also include industry executives. So we have presidents from Capitol, Rock Nation, Glassnote, Sony, Warner, and so forth and ultimately our hopes are that you know artists can enter they can be recognized and actually be heard by people who can help further their careers we accept all styles of music we have 23 total categories so really the only prerequisite is that it has to be an original composition and all credit will eventually go to the songwriter or songwriters associated um, we take no rights to the songs so the songs could be already released. It could, you know, could be a song that hasn't been released to the public and that makes no difference in entering in our competition. And essentially the way our process works is we review every song that's entered into the competition. We will ultimately choose our semi-finalists and then our finalists from that batch of songs. The finalist songs are then sent to our judge panel and it will be their scores that will dictate who the ultimate winners are. And so in ISC, we have 71 winners across those 23 categories, and they share in over $150,000 in cash and prizes from our sponsors, which include Fender, Isotope, Arteria, Lurson Mastering, so forth and so on. All of those details are listed on our website under our prizes page. We also have a sponsors page, as well as all the other rules and FAQs one of the best places I can point anyone interested in entering the competition is to our website. We try to have all the information available there to answer any questions you might have. The other good thing is you can actually check out the winners from last year to get a you know a sample of what songs did really well last year in the competition. Wow, that's amazing. So you guys are really giving away some cash and prizes here and trying to help the songwriters to further their career, which is something which is amazing. What are some of the categories? So, you know, we have a lot of the traditional mainstream categories that you would expect, which include country music, rock, pop top 40, R&B hip hop, um, electronic dance music. But we, we basically try to cover 
almost any style of music. So we also have, you know, jazz, instrumental, Latin. We have a children's music category. A lot of people don't know we have a comedy novelty category, which accepts song parodies as well as stand-up routines. We also have a category that's specifically designed for younger artists, and it's our teen category. You know, so in order to qualify to enter that category, you have to be 18 years or younger as of the end of this year. So ultimately, uh, the design of the competition is to basically be able to field any type of music and then hopefully give them opportunities, you know, to be heard in, in you know, in their, in their world. I think next year we're going to really participate with you guys and give away some cash and prizes. We'd we'll love to become part of this and looking forward to uh, really working with you guys next year. Who are some of your sponsors for this? So sponsors this year, as I mentioned, you know, we'll have Fender and Fano Guitars. We'll both be giving away guitars. Lurson Mastering and gives away a fully mastered album. They're one of the best mastering shops based out of Los Angeles. If you go to their website, they're kind of a who's who of projects they've worked on. We'll be giving away some amazing headphones from Adizi, Aventric, which is, you know, they give away their master tour, which is the perennial touring software program. So once, you know, this industry gets back online, winners will get access to that. We're giving away Spire Studios from Isotope, a complete V Collection 7 bundle from Arturia, which is an amazing assortment of plugins and sound creation tools. We're giving away distribution through TuneCore. TuneCore is our digital distributor this year. They had to come back on this is their second year being a sponsor. We really believe in what they do and helping artists get their music online. We're giving away some gift certificates with Sweetwater Sound, which is basically the home for most online music purchasing. Free Sonus, Celebrity Access, Gig Salad, Merch, Merch Cat, the list goes on. One of the other things that we do with ISC is we run some special promotions. And the way those are designed is they run for limited times. Sometimes they have their own kind of special prizes or themes. Like we'll, we'll have a love song promotion coming up. We'll have a song about social causes, which in consideration of everything going on these days, you would think, you know, both of those would do pretty well. So those will have their own prizes, but the, the bonus there is anyone that enters the special promotion are also in, included in the overall 2020 competition. So we are currently taking entries. Our regular deadline period runs through September 23rd. The current price for entry is $30 US per song submission. Artists are welcome to enter as many songs as they like in as many categories as they like. And it is also common for someone to enter a song into multiple categories. After the 23rd, we'll be converting into our extended deadline period and the price will go from $30 to $35. And then we run some special promotions at the end of the year. So for anyone in your audience who's considering entering, I would encourage them to enter now and save on the entry fee. But ultimately, they will have opportunities to enter the competition up until the, the very beginning of 2021. And then after that, we shut it down and focus primarily on the listening and the selection process. We'll announce our semis in February 2021, our finalists in March, and then we try to announce our overall winners every year by the end of April, early May of, of that year. So that would mean winners announcement, which should come by early May 2021. Okay, all right. You just answered uh, other questions that I have. Uh, Shane, let's take a quick break. And our first song will be Dance Monkey by Tones and I. Dance for me, dance for me, dance for me, oh, oh. 
everybody do the things you do before They say, move for me, move for me, move for me, yeah Association Podcast, your main source for music industry news, networking, and business education. Welcome back, and that was Dance Monkey by Tones and I. My guest today is Mr. Shane Whalen, and we are discussing International Songwriters Competition. Shane, tell us about the last winner. Tones and I. So obviously a lot of people in your audience are probably really familiar with that song as it was a global smash hit last year. And I think what that underscores is that ISC is open to amateur all the way to professional songwriters. You can be a signed artist and still enter ISC because the whole competition was designed to recognize the songwriters, not necessarily the artists. But as that last song indicated, Tones and I is not only a signed artist, I believe she's with Atlantic Records, she's also an established artist. And I think what that underscores is, especially artists internationally, they deem recognition in ISC as an honor. And they recognize that even though we are an international event, we are still based in Nashville, Tennessee, we are still based in the US, and a large percentage of our judge panel, especially the industry side, is based here in the U.S. too. And so international artists as well as U.S. based artists are always looking to be recognized by the music industry as it is here. And so even though she had a global smash hit, which is, you know, not super common in ISC to have a song that popular, you know, be included in the competition, it was highly scored by all of our judges. And so it was actually a pretty easy selection for it to be the overall grand prize winner. ISC has had a number of notable artists enter throughout the years at different stages of their career, from artists like Bastille, the band Perry, Gautier, Vance Joy, Kimbra, Andrew Bird, Gregory Porter, Omar Sosa. We've had a number of artists who were starting out or actually had some success who still entered ISC based on the recognition and validation that that comes with entering. I actually think, you know, this is the type of opportunity that artists at any level in their career should take advantage of, especially if you're starting out. The process of going through the, you know, submitting your songs, even if it seems very basic from creating your MP3 or considering, you know, lining up with a performing rights organization, getting your basically your package organized is, is an exercise that I think every artist has to go through because you will ultimately have to go through those steps if you want to be heard and listened to by the industry to get the recognition that you deserve. So whether you're a beginner, I think that process helps you get your camp in order or whether you're an established artist, especially sometimes in some of our more like 
you know, less popular esoteric categories like jazz and instrumental. I mean, we get Grammy award winning artists that continue to enter those categories. And to me, as a former entrant myself, my takeaway from there is they still value the recognition that they get. And every artist, especially now, needs and should take advantage of all of these opportunities to be heard. And for a $30 fee, the opportunity of the possibility of being heard by some of our judges, I think is well worth the cost, Tanner. Yeah, I think $30 is nothing to enter and what you will win and the experience and the people you're able to communicate with and just to learn and experience. This is one of the main reasons why I wanted to interview you guys, to let our songwriters know that you're here and they can enter the competition and uh, just learn from this. So Shane, what are the rules for entering the competition? I mean, basically, you know, like I said before, all styles of music or all genre, genres of music are accepted. All song authors have to be credited. So, you know, it can't be a cover song. It has to be an original composition, whether that's with words and music, you know, or we have an instrumental category. One of the categories I left out earlier is our lyrics only category. So let's say you don't have any music, but you're a poet or you're just a writer of words. There's a category for you as well. So really the only rules are it's your, it's your song and you'll get all the credit. Excellent. I know our listeners would like to know who are some of the judges. Could you tell us about that? Absolutely. You know, our judges, we essentially try to assemble a panel of judges that can represent all the different categories that we have. So some of our top line judges this year are Coldplay, Dua Lipa, Tom Waits, Linkin Park, BD Rexa, Country would be like Christian Bush of Sugarland, Tanya Tucker, we have Lonnie Liston Smith. Sidewalk Prophets and Carrie Job would be kind of a Christian. Irma Thomas, old singer. Arturia Sandoval, amazing trumpet player. Nancy Wilson of Heart, rock. But we also have EDM artists like Coella. We have hip hop, G Herbo, as well as the head of senior VP of Atlantic Records, who's specifically hip hop. Jack DeJanet, John Mayall, legendary blues guitarist. Joe Lewis Walker. Ashwin Batish is a sitar maestro covering our world music category. But we even have Jimmy Pardo and Margaret Cho for our comedy category. So that's sort of a sampling of our celebrity artists. And then we kind of pivot also on that panel, our industry execs, which as a former entrant, that was actually my primary driver. I wanted the opportunity for people in the industry to hear me. So we have CEOs, presidents, heads of A&R from Capital Music, Rock Nation, Sony Music, Glass Note Records, Atlantic Records, as I mentioned, Warner, and then a lot of smaller labels that focus more on specific styles of music. So collectively, you know, I would argue we have the most premier and prestigious panel of judges of any songwriting competition in the world. Yeah, and, and any, anybody in your audience can go to our website and we have a specific judge page that they can see, you know, everybody that's being included in our 2020 competition for themselves. Yeah, this is really good to know because our songwriters would want to know who these judges are and is it worth their time even trying to enter into, into the competition, but you guys have notable execs in the industry. When is the uh, deadline for this? So our next deadline, as I mentioned, is the regular deadline, and that'll be coming up really soon on September 23rd. So the price of entry up through the 23rd is $30 per song submission. After that, we enter our extended deadline period, and that'll go through November 4th. So at that point, it'll be $35. And then for after the extended deadline, we run a series of special promotions. One of them I mentioned was for love songs, one's for social causes, we run another one that songs that are built and ready for music licensing. And then, you know, we have some placeholders from some other special promotions that have yet to be announced. Um, but ultimately, it's going to be $35 after September 23rd through the end of the year. 
you hear that Florida songwriters it's only $35 come on guys you have to uh, enter the competition and it's well worth it I think Shane it's now time for our second song called Smash by Anthony Diamond featuring Big Chaplin And that was Smash by Anthony Diamond featuring Big Chaplin. It's time to thank our sponsor, International Songwriting Competition, for sponsoring Florida Songwriters Association Podcast Episode 8. You can contact International Songwriting Competition at www.songwritingcompetition.com or for marketing and sponsorship information. Please email the Director of Marketing, Shane Whalen at S-W-H-A-L-E-N at songwritingcompetition.com. My guest today is Mr. Shane Whalen, and we are discussing international songwriting competition. Shane, what are the age requirements? So all of our categories are open to all ages. We do have a category specifically for teens that are 18 years or younger. As of December 31st, 2020, teens are not required to enter that category. I would encourage teens to enter that category if they are 18 years or younger. But anyone of any age can enter any of our categories. 
Obviously, aside from people who are older than 18, they, they're disqualified from the teen category. There's 23 total categories from pop to rock to blues to Americana, the folk singer, songwriter, but even some of our more you know esoteric categories, children's music, comedy, lyrics only, so forth and so on. All the categories are listed on the website. And if anyone has any questions about the categories of music or the rules or our FAQs, um, they can always email me or they can email support, which is support at songwritingcompetition.com. And we're happy to answer any questions you might have. That's great. It's, it's good that all genres are accepted and they can enter lyrics only as well. Can they enter a song that has already been released in the market? Yes, they can. We have no restrictions on whether a song, you know, has been published or unpublished in the marketplace. So, you know, we have examples of songs that were released 10, 20 years ago that have gone on to become winners. And we have examples of songs that have never been released publicly that are included in the competition. And what site do they need to go to again to enter the competition? Everything you need to learn about ISC as well as enter your song is at songwritingcompetition.com. You can look around, you can check out our prizes, our sponsors, our rules for entering. And then ultimately, it's easy. You can just create an account. It doesn't take more than a minute. And then you can use that account to log in, upload your music, or you can also point us to where your music might be streaming online, whether that be YouTube or SoundCloud or Bandcamp, something like that. Select your category, proceed to payment. And then once you're in the competition, you get an official confirmation email. We keep you updated throughout the competition as well. Once your song has been reviewed, you will get what we call a listen to confirmation email. We don't share any critiques or anything on your music, but we want to let you know that your song has been evaluated. And then as you sign up, we'll also keep you up to date on deadlines, price changes, as well as special promotions or unique opportunities and offerings from our partners and sponsors. Excellent. Now, if they want to become a sponsor or contact you directly, uh, please give us an email. Yeah, I can be reached directly at S Whalen, so that's S W H A L E N, at songwritingcompetition.com. Anyone is also welcome to call us directly in our office. We're located here in Nashville, Tennessee, and our direct line is 615 251 4441. And you can ask for Shane Whalen. Where you can also ask for Jim Morgan, and we're welcome to field any questions you might have about partnerships, sponsorships, or just about the overall competition. Excellent. Shane, thank you so much. And it's now time for our final song called Tennessee Whiskey by Stan Edwards. Oh. 
Welcome back, and I'm your host, Steve Lane, and that was Tennessee Whiskey by Stan Edwards. My guest is Mr. Shane Whalen, and we are discussing the International Songwriting Competition. Mr. Whalen, it was a pleasure having you on the podcast, and thank you for giving us more information on International Songwriting Competition. I really appreciate you having me here. As a former entrant and an artist myself, I think you can probably tell that I have a passion for what I do and I, I love when the best part of this job is to hear the talent from all over the world and feel like I'm having a very small part in helping them get the recognition they deserve. So I appreciate the opportunity to share the word with your audience and I would encourage everyone in the audience if they're, again, if you're just starting out or you know, if you feel you've got some really killer songs that need more recognition, check out ISC at songwritingcompetition.com 
in any of your song. Um, I, I think it's worth it's worth the price of entry, and you never know you might you might go on to become one of our one of our winners in this year's competition, and you can always like tie it back to just hearing it on this podcast. Thank you, Mr. Chain Will, and and if you are songwriters songwriter or artist who would like your songs played on Florida Songwriters Association podcast, please send your songs to IndieSongs at FLSW.org. Florida Songwriters Association podcast episode nine will be with Adriana Lorena discussing sound therapy with tuning forks and how it would help the body. I want to thank you for listening to Florida Songwriters Association podcast and closing remarks before we depart. Success is what happens after you have survived all your mistakes.